consider the following table. Which of the following choices represents the same relationship as demonstrated in the table? Let's start, first of all, by eliminating answer choice B. Answer choice B has a graph that is not a linear function. Anything that has a curve to it, something like this U shape or this kind of cubic function shape, anything like this is not a linear function and is not something that will be covered on this test. So any graph that looks like this is an easy first thing to eliminate. A says y is equivalent to twice the value of x and a constant c, where c equals negative 1. Let's put that into an equation. y is equivalent to twice the value of x and, which means to add, and a constant c, where c is equal to negative 1. We would write that as y is equal to 2x plus negative 1, and adding a negative is just the same as subtracting a positive. So that would be 2x minus 1. So that's our first equation. We can also take a look at answer choice C. I'll put this in a different color. Answer choice C also has us dealing with an equation. So let's see what the difference is. We might be able to eliminate both at the same time. First, we'll have to rearrange this equation. So we're trying to isolate y. y is currently being divided by 2, so we need to do the opposite and multiply both sides by 2. This will cancel, giving us 2x is equal to y minus 1. Then we need to do opposite operations one more time to add 1 to both sides. And that will give us, I'm going to flip y to the other side, y is equal to 2x plus 1. And that's our equation. So the difference between c and b is we're either adding one or subtracting one. So let's take a point. We're going to take this first point here. And I'm going to plug it into both equations. We'll have negative 1 is equal to 2 times 0 plus 1. And then we'll have negative 1 is equal to 2 times 0 minus 1. 2 times 0 gives us 0 in both cases. 0 plus 1 up here will give us a positive 1, not a negative 1. So answer choice C is incorrect. For answer choice A, we will have 1 minus 0, which is negative 1, and that does match. So answer choice A could be potentially the correct answer. Let me make some more room, and then we will test the rest of the values in the table with answer choice A. Now let's try our next set of points, 1 and 1. So we'll plug in 1 for y and 1 for x. 2 times 1 will give us 2. Minus 1 will give us 1. So this point is correct. Let's do another one. 2 and 3. So we will have 3 is equal to 2 times 2 minus 1. 2 times 2 is 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. And for the rest of these, you can kind of see the pattern. We can almost do this in our head the rest of the way. 3 times 2 will give us 6 minus 1 will give us 5. 4 times 2 will give us 8, minus 1 will give us 7, and 5 times 2 is 10, minus 1 will give us 9. So all of these points are matching this equation, making answer choice A our correct answer. At that point, you can mark A and move on with the rest of the test, but for the sake of the video, I'll show you why D is incorrect. Let's say you started this problem looking at answer choice D. What you would want to do is, since we have our y-intercept of our original equation, our b value is equal to negative 1, we just need to find the slope to make an equation, and then we can plug in these values and test them out. So let's quickly find the slope of our original graph, and I'll use these two points to do it. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We will have... Um, Let's do uh, this set of coordinate points for y2 and x2. So we'll have 3 over 2 minus 1 and 1 as our second set of points. 3 minus 1 will give us 2. 2 minus 1 will give us 1. So we have our slope is equal to 2. And with all that in mind, we can put that into y equals mx plus b form. y is equal to 2x minus 1. And now we can take that, put it down here. and start plugging in some numbers from answer choice D. So let's try this first set, negative 1 and negative 1. Negative 1 is equal to 2 times negative 1 minus 1. Negative 1 is equal to 2 minus negative 1 is negative 2. 
minus 1 will give us negative 3, not negative 1. So answer choice D is incorrect, and answer choice A is our correct answer.